Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to create an RGB triangle in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by clicking on the new file button. For width and height, choose 2000. For resolution, choose 300 with 16-bit RGB color. Click create when done. Next, click on view from the top menu and choose new guide layout. Enter 6 for columns and 5 for rows and then click OK. From the tools panel on the left, click on the polygon tool. Now click in the center of the canvas and enter 1000 pixels for both width and height. Check symmetric and enter 3 for number of sides, 0 pixels for corner radius and 100% for star ratio and then click OK. Hold the Option and Shift key and drag one of the corners to expand the triangle symmetrically. I'm going to use the move tool to transform and adjust the triangle further so it sits nicely on one of the guidelines. Move the top guideline to the top of the triangle and the bottom guideline to the center of the triangle. This will ensure that we have midpoints marked for all three sides of the triangle. Next, right click on the polygon one layer and click on rasterize. Click on the channels tab and deselect all the channels except red. Now select the gradient tool from the tools panel and make sure linear gradient is selected in the options bar. Choose black comma white from the gradient dropdown and then click inside the gradient to open the gradient editor. Reduce the smoothness to 0% and then click OK. Draw a gradient line from the top of the triangle to the center of the bottom side. Now select the green channel and draw a gradient line from the right corner to the center of the opposite side. Now select the blue channel and repeat the steps for the remaining corner. Click on the composite RGB channel to reveal your gradient RGB triangle. Click on view from the top menu and select clear guides to get rid of the guidelines. To create clear boundaries between the primary colors, click on the new adjustment layer button and choose curves. Now change the blend mode to hard mix. To adjust the boundaries and reveal the secondary colors, bring the curves line up a bit. How cool is that? To fine tune the boundaries further, you can also play with the individual color curves lines. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.